America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the early life of George Rogers Clark. On the eve of the American Revolution, the lands west of the Appalachians were ripe for conquest as the area was lightly defended by the British. All that was needed to exploit the situation and take over this vast territory was an intrepid man with a vision. That leader would emerge in the person of George Rogers Clark, and his extraordinary efforts would secure the lands north of the Ohio for the United States. Clark was born on November 19, 1752, on a family farm in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. His parents were John and Ann Rogers Clark, and over the years, Anne bore John 10 children, four girls and six boys. When war broke out, five sons from this remarkable patriotic clan served as officers in the American army. The only son who did not serve was William, who was not old enough, but would become famous when he joined with Meriwether Lewis to lead the Corps of Discovery in exploring the lands of the Louisiana Purchase. In 1756, the Clarks moved back east to Caroline County, where George would spend the bulk of his childhood, including eight months of schooling, the only formal education George ever received. George was not a great student, and recognizing his natural restlessness precluded farming as an occupation Father and son agreed George should learn surveying, and he proved to be an eager pupil. At age 19, with a head full of knowledge, some surveying equipment, and a rifle, George Rogers Clark headed west to make it on his own. Next week, we will discuss George Rogers Clark's conquest of the Illinois country. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.